director of Thor Love and Thunder, Taika Waititi, has recently opened up a little bit more about the ups and downs of Thor Love and Thunder. And he recently talked a little about the tone of the film and how it was difficult to figure out just what direction they were going to go in. So if you're looking for the video where I am talking about the criticism to Thor Love and Thunder and him saying, hey, if you just want the comic story, go read the comic. I already made that. I'll make sure that's one of the videos that pops up that's recommended so you can check that out. That's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about is him further continuing to talk about the development of Thor Love and Thunder after Thor Ragnarok. And he said that once they settled on the story, which featured Jane Foster and the whole cancer thing, that obviously they had to look at it as a continuation also of Thor Ragnarok. And that film's tone was more comedic. And he says that this in a way was a major factor in the tone of what they were doing with Thor Love and Thunder. And that during development it was difficult to figure out what they wanted to do because Thor Love and Thunder had to do the cancer thing. That was obviously going to be central to it. But people that loved Ragnarok expected more of that. People that didn't wanted it to be more serious. So he said he had to do a really tough dance between the line of figuring out are we going too humorous, are we going too serious, and what are we going to do. And he says to him it was all about the entertainment factor. So having humor in there fit what he was going for. And also focusing on many elements of the humor with visual effects was another thing he wanted to do. So he says right from the start, it was very difficult to figure out the tone for everything in terms of what the film was. And I think if you watch the film, you see this. There's a pretty big whiplash effect from the opening scene to pretty much every act in the film. There's sometimes this literal whiplash effect of, hey, I have cancer. Hey, here we're funny now. Hey, here's a screeching goat. Hey, here's a heartfelt scene. Hey, here's more Gore the God Butcher suffering. Oh, hey, here's a joke about whatever, right? And you definitely see that. Now, maybe if there was more time on the film and it wasn't under two hours, you could have a little bit more time for everything to sink in. But that's all in the past, I guess. The film is what it is. And, um, you know, some people will love it. I know people that think this is the greatest Thor film ever like it's not gonna get better than this I know people like me who absolutely hate it it's their least favorite yes I like Thor 2 more I said it I'm sorry it is what it is